Test one, two. Hello, hello. And welcome to the under-19 final. We had a little bit of a hiccup of uh, the streaming, but we've got it on just in time. And off we go straight away. It's uh, Benny and Barnes here commentating for you. And uh, I'll hand it over to Benny straight away. Thanks, Barnesy. Yeah, um, look, this is going to be a cracking match. I think it's going to be a very close game. We're just getting some last-minute comments from both of the coaches before the game in that break. And, you know, one Queensland looks like it's going to be a game of speed and skill for them. And Steve Cleary, um, you know, admitted his team maybe not have done the best groundwork in the lead-up to the comp, but they've got a lot of brute strength, which they're going to kind of rely on. So two different styles here, and it'll be interesting to see which game, come, which style comes on top. As we can see, Tazzy in uh, white, the white team in Green Bay, there's doing some good work, getting an early attacking opportunity in this half. They've managed to pull it up into the um, attacking corner um, there on the far side of the screen. And Queensland got to do some good work. They, they really do not want to concede this early in the final. And we can see there Queensland managed to push the puck over to that far corner. Um, and a nice little drive here. So there's lots of, um, yeah, look, young up-and-coming talent on display here in the under-19s. Division O, cap, uh, Vice Captain Kai Wagner um, from Cairns, an, a very strong player um, throughout the comp. Um, the Tassie team, look, I'm a bit removed from what's going on with Tassie Juniors. I know Jack Cleary is in this team from Tassie. He's a, a nice up-and-coming player who had some elite experience playing the elite men's team last year. Um, but, you know, in Tassie, there seems to be this production line of, uh, you know, good, good strong juniors who get exposed to high-level hockey here in Tassie. Um, and it always translates to a good performance here in the under-19s division at Nationals. So Tassie again, um, nice little drive on there, but the refs have seen the first foul of the final. And it's against Tasmania. Um, so Queensland, a nice little um, opportunity here to consolidate and just work it out of their corner and um, put some pressure on the Tasmanian team. So it may have been just a few of those finals jitters and... Uh from Queensland, they were rushing it a little bit and Tasmania were able to push them right into the back corner and down the back wall. And uh, the, the brute strength of the Tasmanian team were strong enough to push it right up into the goal tray but weren't able to get that goal. And uh, yes, this advantage puck that Queensland were able to receive, they have managed, managed to get quite a bit of ground down the pool now. Will they look to take it out? Here we go, it is an aggressive 45, quickly shut down by the Tasmanians. It's barreled up on the wall, probably where Tasmania would prefer it. That's where they can slow it down. But can Queensland find the teammates? Yeah, still bogged up over that wall, which I think, you know, Tassie definitely wanted there to use their, 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 um, their size to kind of lock it down on the wall. Um, but another free puck uh, foul has been seen here by the rest. It's against Queensland. Caitlin Smart, the deck ref, not giving us any help with uh, echoing the calls, but Barnsley did notice a gloving call. And so Tasmania, a nice little opportunity here to uh, yeah, put them back on the, uh, the front foot. So just a reminder for those sitting at home, that gloving foul, they've advanced the puck using their glove rather than the stick. And uh, that's simply just not allowed and uh, that would be called against Queensland and uh, Tasmania get a reset they get to reset their structure and uh, get a five meter advantage yep and look Tassie have taken definitely taken advantage of that free puck worked it up the wall and then now trying to drive in towards the center of the tray um, the rest again another foul a bit of barging a barging against Tasmania so a Tasmania player has swum their body into a Queensland player and committed a foul. So now Taz, uh, Queensland get a chance to, um, yeah, look, to, to, to defuse that situation. I also noticed they managed to put in three fresh subs. Not quite there with the structure for their uh, the setup. You can see all of the Tasmanian team down. Great bottom time. And they're making an aggressive 45 across to Queensland sub bench. If they can keep it moving, Queensland won't have the time to get new subs in. And, uh, oh, I can see another foul has been called. This time it's chopping against Queensland. So the Queensland player has come in with the stick on top of the arm and hit the arm or stick rather than hitting the puck first. Yeah, look, not much in this uh, this game. It's like we predicted, a very tight contest. Um, penalties going both ways to both teams. Um, you know, ideally, the team that's going to win is going to 
commit the least, f the fewest fouls and um, get their team on the on the scoreboard. But we'll just see what, what happens. Um, it's good. To, yeah, a nice. Unlike the round robin, we've got good refs in the uh, in the final today. So obviously seeing a lot, picking up a lot. And yet again, another unfortunate that Queensland player wasn't able to swim away with the puck because there was a foul seen earlier in the play. And it is against Queensland again. So Tazzy, really good opportun opportunity here to, uh, you know, score an early goal in this, in this game. Got six metres out. They'll have five players down, one player defending. Have a look at the body position. Can they get the numbers down low to be able to push through? Cycling it back around. It's a strong push, and it looks like it's gone in. We've got one, two, three. It is a goal. All confirmations by the referees. And that's one goal to Tasmania. Getting them first strike on the board. And now Queensland are on the back foot. It's only one goal, though. Yeah, only one goal there, Barnsley. Still uh, not much in this game. A uh, big cheer that went up from the crowd. Obviously, lots of Tasmanian um, parents coming down to uh, watch their kids. Hopefully, they took advantage of the bank holiday today in Tasmania and got the morning off work at least to come down and watch their kids in this final. And look, I think you know Tasmania do have a lot of finals experience in these big games. They're always usually in the final with the under 19s division. Um, Queensland, first time in a while, I think they've contested the under 19s. So, a few little nerves maybe early in the half and the under 19s, but hopefully the Queensland um, team can, you know, put some points back on the board and, and consolidate a bit. There we go, just getting a nod of approval from the overlord, Nick Martin. Just checking we're all good here in the commentary box. And uh, yeah, Tasmania again. Pushing it up in a lot of the game being played in the Queenslanders' half. Um, Queensland just run away with the puck and, and found some players on the outside. Um, but look, not a lot of, you know, what I've noticed, uh, good passage to play where Queensland be able to find um, a lot of consecutive passes to string between their team, which I think, you know, just a downfall early here. Um, nice little 45. Can you find the outside player? Oh, nice pass there. Um, and finds the outside player and deflected there, but... Good support there from that Queensland player. Still just got his hand on the puck. A nice curl there and rip um, from number two. I think that is uh, Josiah Hartley, one of the, the Hartley brood. Finds his sister, Sarah. Nice big flick there. Um, but unfortunately, that back there, Jack Cleary, the captain, was just waiting to pounce on that forward, unsuspecting forward. Um, Josiah there doing some good curling, but unfortunately just blindsided by the number nine there from Tasmania. And nice little attacking drive here. Good numbers on the bottom and finding some space up the outside, down the sideline from Tasmania. I think Tassie were able to get in at least three fresh subs, which would have helped a huge amount with that push straight down the wall. That does look like now Queensland are getting a few fresh subs in too. Hopefully they can cycle them back in, get them in position. And it's a little hard to see what's going on. There has been a foul called. It is a chopping foul against Tasmania. So I believe each team has had one chopping foul each. And uh, hopefully they can keep it nice and clean. And the game can keep pulling through smoothly. Yeah, so Tasmania team, Steve, Coach Steve Cleary just caught a timeout. We did see Steve Cleary getting some early physio work um, in from Nick Stepkic. I'm not sure what he needed to get touched up on. Maybe, he, again, just to lose some his back so he can make the timeout signal. Um, you know, he's, he's getting on a bit, old Steve. Um, so... Glad he could take advantage of uh, Nick Stepkovic's services before the, the final. Keep him nice and fresh and limber to make those coaching calls. Um, Plenty of uh, yeah grand final coaching experience from Steve Cleary. He's uh, coached me to uh, gold medals in the under-19s division. And uh, he's also you know been on the, the receiving side, the losing side before as well. So he knows both situations through and through. I believe he's been doing under-19s coaching for, oh, I don't even know how long, over decades, we'll yeah. say. Decades on decades. Uh, it's 15 seconds until they restart. The teams have had their chat, got their breather in for the Tassie boys. And uh, I'm sorry, the Tassie under 19s. And uh, here we go, resetting. Queensland to take the puck. Strong swim out. A little hard to see with that ref in the way. A lot of numbers on the bottom. Fantastic work. A strong, aggressive 45 swim through there for Queensland. They're taking it away from the sub bench side now. Another foul has been called. It's a barging against Tasmania. So that's Tasmania's second barging call. And they've uh, 
try to swim into the Queensland player with their body or defended with their body a little too aggressively. Yeah, nice passage of play there from number eight, Sarah Hartley, on the Queensland team. Just taking that free puck and then backing up to find um, the push to take it to that far side and find a bit of space on the 45 where it's ended up before that um, foul was called. And we can see the free puck was taken there by um, the Queensland team and they managed to push it over to the, the far wall, but Tasmania seemed to be in possession. And a nice little drive there, but to shut down there by Sarah Hartley, just on the top of your screen behind the scoreboard. And uh, pushing back to the safety of that wall. But Queensland are really need to um, find some space. And I think, like Anton said before the game, use their speed and skill to just drive up the middle and, and stop playing into the hands of the Tasmanian team by bogging down on the wall there um, for the whole game. Because it looked like they're just getting outmuscled a bit by those Tassie, big Tassie players. And uh, we can see here Tassie on the offensive. Um, nice little drive and flick there in the centre. Um Although deflected and shut down by Queensland, who found some sp space and found their winger on the outside. They managed to regain the puck, and they're driving down that far wall before being stopped by the Tasmanian player. But another foul here uh, about to be called against Tasmania. Gloving against Tasmania. Um, so as we were just saying before, Barnsley, about the coaching experience, you know, young up-and-coming coach Anton Williams has had a lot of coach... Uh, a lot of experience refing international games. I'm sure he's done a lot of coaching back in New Zealand, but he's managed to move over to Cairns in the last um, 18 months. And, you know, you can really see um, the impact he's having on the, the Queensland team, yet alone the Cairns players since his uh, arrival in Cairns. But we can just see here, nice aggressive um, push there from Tassie, putting pressure on that back who just lost the puck. And Tasmania, numbers on the bottom, finding the puck, um, Good little push there from Josiah Harley, but unfortunately just got out muscled there. And this is number four from Tassie. Imagining to find um, some players. So Tassie on, putting Queensland on the pump here. That Queensland player just driving out of the centre. Not the best option. Uh, she did find a wall of um, Tasmanian players. And Jack Cleary there, number 12, finding that Tassie player who uh, managed to find... This other player flicks the puck. Again, like we said last game, they haven't, they haven't learned our the commentary of last game. Don't flick the puck at the goal, Barnes. You've got to swim it in. Got to take it all the way to that goal tray, which can be so hard when there are the amount of players that they've got down. They're still all quite fresh. You can see the Queensland players generally a bit faster, a bit more agile, able to get particularly their forwards are coming in with some really good steals and uh, taking the puck and just causing a bit of disruption to the Tasmanian push. They haven't been able to get all their teammates down together and drive at the tray. They've got those Queensland forwards coming in, getting the steals and just disrupting those 45s. And it's, it's been working for them, the, for Queensland. They've been able to hold it out, some fantastic defending. And now they've got a foul for them. So they've got a bit of advantage. Can they use it? It's the pucks fed straight into the stack, down the wall. More likely where Tasmania want it. It's a good position for them, to, for Tasmania to make an aggressive 45. But if Queensland can hold on to it, they're going to be able to push a little bit further down. Then we might see either a 45 across or even potentially a switch all the way to the other side of the pool, which would be great for us. Yeah, I mean, it would be nice to see some um, you know, nice open hockey, particularly closer to the cameras for all our, our viewers at home. But, you know, um, whether it's a conscious decision to play, the Queenslanders trying to play on that far wall, keep it away from the Tasmanian sub bench, maybe a little coaching master master stroke there from Anton Williams, telling his team, fitter team, to keep the wall away from their sub bench. Um, hasn't quite translated into much attacking pressure here yet. Um, but let's see, we've got just over two minutes to go. And we just lost the feed from the scoreboard, but I think that happens when the timeout's called and it's back. No, nope, no, it doesn't. Anyway, timeout uh, looks like it's a Queensland timeout. So just about two minutes left here in, the, in this first half. Anton's going to have some you know, inspiring words to try and get them back on the scoreboard before this half finishes. And he's, he's summoned his whole squad into the middle of the pool. Um, Queensland Unnames, unfortunately, missing Quinder Toy, who got caught in the in the Brisbane lockdown. Fortunately, his younger brother, who just played in the um, under 15s grand final, and dad, Mike Detroit from the Masters, were able to seek on the last flight out of Brisbane and get down here to join their team. But, you know, Queensland Under 19A is still impacted by the Brisbane lockdown, unfortunately, um, but still able to make it to this grand final. Barnsley, if you were Coach Anton, what would you be telling your team right now? I'd be, yeah, telling them to keep it on that side. 
Um, get it a little bit further down the pool and then look for some of those aggressive 45s. They were looking pretty quick, pretty strong in the middle of the pool. All of the Queenslanders, very, very agile players. And you can see them darting around some of the Tasmanians. Good body position, good bottom time by the Tasmanian team. You can see four down, right flat on the bottom, and only two Queenslanders. But they are, yes, here we go. They were ready to pounce. They were just waiting on the surface, catching their breath. It's shut down, but no, they've still got possession. Still a little bit of a push, an aggressive push now. Can they get the numbers coming in, streaming in behind? It does look like it. They're still able to take it nearly all the way across. They're resetting through the fullback. Ah, it's cleared again. Strong swim out by the Tasmanian. Out to that defensive, across to the defensive wall to slow it down a little bit again. Will Queensland be able to pull it off the wall and get the numbers? Looks like Tasmania still have... They're now going in ones compared to the, when they reset from that free puck. They had lots of players down and now they're coming in. They've got about three down. Queensland have about three down as well. Is it going to be a goal trace switch? No, not quite. They're going to be play a lot safer and take it to the back wall quickly. You can see a quick desperate sub from the Tasmanian as well. Tasmanians as well. Yeah, look, 45 seconds left. Queensland really need a, a big push here. Um, and they really need to find some... Um, black sticks, you know, it's not just enough for one player to make a little bust and then, you know, make some ground. They really need to finish it off and find some black sticks. Otherwise, all that hard swimming is for nothing. So, Tasmania definitely just trying to box, box it down in that far corner, use up the time in this second half. And someone from Queensland needs to take some initiative and just pull it out, rip it around and uh, bring it to the front of that goal because they're not going to swim through the Tassie back line, through that back corner or down the back wall. They need to open it up. But, look, unfortunately, it looks like Tassie are doing a good job just to box it in. And here we go, one last push, tussle in this thing. Someone needed to come and hit that, that Queensland Tasmanian player, but look, he's done a good job there, finding Jack Cleary, son of Coach Steve Cleary, and look, that's going to take us to the end of uh, the first half. That's half time. Nice little passion to play there from Tasmania, keeping their cool and um, shutting down any of that Queensland attack. So half time here. 1-0, not much in this game. Obviously, Tasmania, very strong offensive performance. Um, definitely putting Queensland under the pump a lot more. Um. It was a strong goal earlier by Taz, but it did look like that Queensland was still suffering from those, those grand final jitters, and they've been able to consolidate it since then and have some really aggressive attacks. They've had it right up down in their attacking half for... I'd say the past five minutes of the game. So it's just a matter of time if they can slowly pick at it, slowly pick at the Tasmania defense until they get tired out, then they should be able to get that 45 attack to the middle of the goal tray and put a goal in. Tasmania, however, are still able to hold it very cleanly and uh, are just, just going to be an almost oh, a very, very tough defense to get through. It's particularly if it's down on that back wall, they've got that three-way rotation. That's their bread and butter. They can hold that for a whole game. Got a minute 45 until we reset. We've had um, Steve Cleary was complaining of the back injury earlier and uh, hopefully, you know, he's going to be able to stay upright and uh, tell all his players everything he needs to so that they can keep attacking we might even see them pull out all the breaks and go 110 percent get another goal early i've lost my uh co-commentator benny just for now so sit tight he'll be back in a moment there are many many parents up in the stands as well i'd say Almost 50-50 in terms of the support. There's a lot up there. At 30 seconds, the teams are resetting now. What do you reckon Anton would have told the Queensland players, Benny? 
Look, I, I think he would have just done a bit to, you know, get them recomposed, um, settle any jitters they have. Obviously, they're down on the scoreboard. And I think they really, he really needs to push that they can't let them score again because it sounds like they're having a hard time attacking. Unless the only thing that's gonna, I think is going to play into their advantage, Barnsley, in the second half is the Queenslanders' fitness. And if they can t work out a way to tire out the Tasmanians, hopefully in the back end of the half they'll fatigue and they get a couple more goals on the board. It's going to be hard work, but I think they just can't afford to let any more goals in. Um, so we're counting up now. I've got a ref's timeout. Um, miss what was going on. It looks like I can only see one ref in the water. So did we lose a couple of refs in the halftime break? Oh, no, Caitlin's got her hand up. About to resume here. We go counting down. Five seconds left. And, um, you know, shout out to the Queensland Elite players. There's a couple of juniors in this team who are going to play up in the Queensland Elite Women's team. Um, Sarah Hartley and Hannah Forey for, for, what, for a couple off the top of my head. And I had the pleasure of... Uh, Going to a training camp a couple weeks ago on the Gold Coast against the Queensland Elite team. Oh, that number 11, just the number four, sorry. Just losing the puck there, but managed to realise he didn't have it on his stick and um, regained it. But yeah, um, unfortunately those girls couldn't play in the Elite Women's Comp this year um, as they were able to send a Queensland team. But um, yeah, some strong signs from especially the female players in this team um, coming through to Elite Grey, which is awesome to see from Queensland. And um, Queensland just had that attacking push, but unfortunately conceded a penalty. Holding the barrier, oh, that's an easy, that's a simple one uh, to just cut out of your game. You can't gain advantage from holding on to that pool noodle or any part of that physical uh, barrier um, to help hold yourself down. So that's a penalty there against uh, Queensland. That's an unfortunate foul. They should really have been able to capitalise on, on that a little bit more. Tasmania now driving down the wall. They've got the numbers. Queensland showing some strong curls off the wall. They just need to bring in the numbers to take it out. They're looking a little bit more, uh, they're looking a bit stronger in the middle of the pool, but Tasmania now with the numbers, a strong, strong drive taken out very cleanly by number two from Queensland there. Another foul has been called. It is a barging against Tasmania. So Queensland will get their advantage, be able to reset, get some fresh subs in. Looks like Tasmania is actually putting three fresh subs in as well. Noticing uh, the you know the the three quarter length uh, trunks have crept into the Tasmania team. I know Sean Hartley's been a big proprietor of them up in Queensland, and uh, looks like his uh, effect has uh, come down here to Tasmania. Some players rocking those three-quarter pants. So I don't know what advantage you gain uh, from wearing them. I feel like the Speedos is just an easy option, less drag. But, um, yeah, who knows? Jury stood out on that one. And we can see Tasmania just uh, shutting down that, uh, that last free park and managed to drive it over that far wall. And just being swamped by a bunch of Queensland players. They're good defense from the Queensland team. Another free park called good. Queensland left off the hook here. We got a, a free puck in their in their favour, again for chopping against the Tasmanian team. So, again, at some point in this half, Queensland need to you know pull together and open them up because they're just not whatever they're doing right now and trying to play them up the wall, the big Tassie team. Uh, it's just not working. So they've really got to use their speed and skill to zip around the puck, zip around the pool and um, open Tasmania up. But um, yeah, unfortunately, it looks like no one's been able to do that yet from the Queensland team. Just not stringing those passes together. And eventually they just keep getting hit by these big Tasmanian players. Queensland set up three behind for that free puck. And then they launched it straight into the stack. And their fullback was a little late to get down. And I think Tasmania were able to get the puck somewhat on their stick. It's bubbling around as much as we can see from here. And it looks like a strong 45, a strong drive down the wall, followed by a 45, not quite aggressive enough. It may be trapped on the corner, but the numbers are there. It's at a goal tray switch. The Tasmanian's there, but there's also the Queensland defence streaming through. Maybe a bit of glove to get that one all the way out, but did the ref see it? It looks like it's been taken all the way to the corner. Very lucky by the Queensland. Strong swim through. They took it all the way to the corner, which is what you need to slow it down and slow that Tasmanian attack. Yeah, look, uh, good thing Steve Cleary didn't see that missed call from the rest with that gloving by, by Sarah Hartley. He would have been, um, you know, blood would have made his blood boil. Could have done his back again um, in anger. But, um, yeah, Queensland just let off the hook there. A little cheeky foul from Sarah Hartley, but that's okay. Um, it happens. Bad calls go both ways.
And Tasmania here doing some nice control of the puck, but just running into... Oh, he's still doing well. The number 12... Um, is it Harry Winch? Harry Winch is holding the puck there amongst two Queensland players, trying to double team him. And they run into Jack Cleary, the fullback and captain. Number 10 here, Andrew Gregg holding it up on the wall. Jack Cleary reset behind him, ready to get the puck if uh, it spills out. But number 10 there, Andrew still holding. Nice bottom time there from Andrew. And still going. Good second effort. Still retains the puck. And uh, finds number 5, Tasman Inglis, who's uh, doing some good work there in the three-quarter pants. You can see Tasmania are holding their body position a lot stronger this time, this half. They've maybe got some words of advice from Steve and they've, they're consciously thinking about it, staying down, and the Queenslander forwards aren't coming in quite so much, so they are slowly but surely progressing their way down the pool. Problem is they don't want to get all the way to that back corner, otherwise it would be very, very hard for them to pull it out again and make an aggressive 45. There we go. You can see Kai Wagner just shutting down that play. Um, did I hear a buzzer in my head? No, no buzzer. So play on there under the sub bench. Um, I don't think we touched on it, Barnsley, but as the sh score shown here today, it reflects the round robin. Very close games between the team in the round robin. And their double round robin, I think there was one draw and the other game maybe to Tassie with uh, only one goal in it. So again, another neck and neck game here in the under 19s grand final. Another cracking game. But again, Queensland just unable to open them up so far in the second half. They've only got nine minutes left. They really need to score one goal um, to get back in the game. And it looks like they're bogged down here under the sub bench. Get some fresh subs in. Sarah Hartley doing a good job there, just getting lifted off the bottom a bit. Um, number two, Josiah Hartley fighting hard. Good strength there from the little scallywag. And uh, there he goes, back down again. Couldn't get back down in time. And the, uh, his opposite number, number two from Tasm Tasmania, just swimming through them. But the refs have seen a foul. It's against Tasmania, gloving against, I think, number two there from the Tasmanian team, which is, is there a number two? Yeah, we go, Blair Shattuck. We did see the dolphin kick come out straight down the wall there. Uh, might have caused the puck to bobble and land on their glove, which then they tried to progress it further down, but the ref was having none of that and called it against Tasmania. And uh, Queensland... Again, just getting taken to the wall, but it is underneath their sub bench. So not the worst place to be. Not the worst place to be if they can maybe take it out on that 45. Another foul has been called just as Queensland had some beautiful possession. It's against Queensland, so that puck was probably acquired. Not quite legally. What do you say, Benny? Yeah, it sounds like a Barnsley. Unfortunately, Kai's uh, swerve sandwich there to no avail because the foul had already occurred. But, you know, there's a time and a place for the Dolphin kick. And I think it's, you know, as a back, when you don't have the puck and chasing down fast players like Regan from Queensland and Nick Young, in my experience, the Dolphin kick, very efficient form of locomotion um, when you don't have the puck. And, um, you know, on the puck is not the best time for it. Here we go. Amber Frame there doing some good work on the uh, number seven on the wall, locking down on the wall. I think she's still down there fighting against those big Tassie boys. And it goes to show that that good body position, you can take on someone almost twice your size if you are nice and flat. So the knees were down, the hips were down, and strong, strong position, and able to spread it out and get it across to the teammates. The Tasmanian number seven there, getting in a steal, or is that number nine? And uh, another foul has been called. Is that barging against Tasmania? So a few barging calls against the Tasmanian team now. We may start to see a few more as the ta players tire out and just end up getting a bit more tangled in each other as they end up using less energy to get out of the way and more energy trying to breathe. It's a timeout for Tasmania. So Steve Cleary has noticed that, that his team... Really trying to suck in the air there. He's giving them that extra minute of rest, departing some uh, words of wisdom. Cool. Just to use this time out to take advantage to scroll through the comments. And thanks, Richard, for clarifying that, uh, you know, Savannah, Amber and Siano would also have played in the women's elite world and got some much need, um, some great experience in that comp as well. But, you know, they're still young, so they've still got plenty of time to play up in the elite grade. And so it's kind of, you know, in a way, it's good that they could 
uh, focus all their energy on, on this division um, to try and uh, get a gold. And thanks, Luke, for pointing out that, you know, it would be the first time that Queensland won two gold medals, particularly in the juniors. I know they've won some under-15 gold medals before, but a long time since Queensland have won uh, gold medal under-15s grade. And we can see there... Josiah Harley taking it wide from that free puck and then flicking back into the stack, but deflected there and shut down by Tasmania, um, who really look, they just need to, you know, another goal be nice, but I think they they know they can also just hold Queensland out. They're not being put under my pre much pressure yet by Queensland. And they just bottle up on the wall for us this game and play out the half. Uh, they could come away with a, a yet another gold medal for Super Coach Steve Cleary. One goal is all they need to win, but one goal is all they need to bring it to a draw for Queensland. So... Could be, could go either way at this point. Still six minutes to go. You can suddenly see games like this where players have burned absolutely everything in the tank. You can suddenly see goals start to spill in for either or, or both teams at once. Who knows, the game might end up at four all. We might go into extra time, golden goal. But currently, there's just some strong barreling going down the wall there for the Tasmanian team. But Queensland do keep managing to steal it off and slow them down. Is barging this time against Queensland. So Tasmania will be able to reset. Will we see them bring it to the middle of the pool? Maybe make an aggressive 45 with the numbers streaming in. They're often really good with their bottom time off the free pucks. They're good at setting themselves. Let's see if they can do it now, if they're puffing a little too hard. They haven't been able to get many fresh subs in for a little while now, apart from that one that you can just see coming in a little bit late. Yeah, I think a golden goal is what the fans want. They want to see something exciting uh, to kick off our day of finals here. Because, um, you know, unfortunately, I think the other couple of finals coming up, maybe not as close, not as evenly matched teams. Potentially the Masters grade coming up next, the Aquaholics from um, Tasmania, their A-grade pennant team up against the South Australian Masters, who by default won gold medal yesterday as um, the highest ranking, highest finishing um, state team in the Masters division. So shout out to Sarah, Coach Sarah Tindall, uh, managing to pull 10, not only 10 players for the grade, but 10 local South Australian Adelaide players to take out that division. But um, yeah, look, this could be one of the closest grand finals we'll see here today. So thanks everybody for joining in. Um, just a, a free puck there against Queensland. Um, really running out of time um, to sneak it in. But hey, all it takes is one, you know, inspirational swim um, from a player and a few players linking up, just pushing to bring them back in the game and, and bring it to a, a draw. Um, and then they'll just have to take it from there. But see, Tasmania on the advantage here, a free puck to them, flicking it into the stack, bogged up over on that far wall there. Not a lot of game over near the, the camera and the camera side so far. Um, but you can see Tasmania managed to swim it up into the Queenslanders' half. And good work there from the Queensland back, staying down, protecting the puck, and trying to find some of his place in the stack of all that uh, maroon and green. And a little switch here, I think it's initiated by the Tasmanian team. Um, good hustle there from the Queensland forwards, managing to uh, and find a play and release a play. Nice little speedy swim there from, I think it's young Josiah Hartley, inspirational young player from Qu Queensland. A lot of lip on him, but uh, very lippy young player, but he's uh, you know done the best to inspire his team. And a good push here from Queensland. Can they turn into a goal? Ian, button push Ian, can we go to camera four, please? Sorry, mate. Thank you. And uh, yeah, Great swim there from initiated by Josiah Hartley to push up into that far corner, but Queensland managed uh, Tasmania managing to put it into their sub bench, and you know Queensland running out of time to really um, put some pressure on them before Tasmania gets some fresh subs in Barnsley. Yeah, so Tasmania would be absolutely frothing that they can get some fresh subs in. They were able to get two on that free puck a little while back, but they'd been stuck on that far side for so long now. Straight down the wall. All the way to Queensland sub bench, but there's a strong push. Could it be another goal for Tasmania? It's there are the plenty of Queensland defenders there, and they're able to clear it. Are they going to take it all the way to the corner, slow it down, get the fresh subs in, and then they can push, make their own counter attack, and that's what Queensland need right now. But if Tasmania can keep this aggression, they may be able to sneak in one more goal, which could be the game. But there's still hope. There's still plenty of hope. There's 2 minutes 20 on the clock, and that is more than enough to get a goal. Yeah, look, unlucky there for Tasman Inglis. Just got bogged down the back wall, and then the captain, uh, Hannah Forey, just doing enough to get there in time and, and deflect and save that goal. So she's kept her team in the game. A great performance there from the captain. And we can see here, 
a free puck to Queensland. Look, Barnes, I think Queensland really need to take advantage of this free puck, and this is kind of now and never for them. They need to get the fresh subs in. I don't know if Anton's got any timeouts left, but, um, you know, now and never for them. They really need to open it up here. Um, we can see the stack of uh, Queensland players there in the middle. Little nice looking attacking switch. Found some space out wide. Oh, it's a bit of a swerve sandwich. Ran into a bit of trouble there from the Tassie player. Um, flicking it in the middle. This is now an amber frame. Nice work. Good, strong. Shaking off that player. And unfortunately, just losing the puck. She's still down there. Um, gives it to her sister, uh, Savannah Frame. And uh, again, another free puck. Lots of cheering here. I think the Queensland contingent cheering off the silent. Trying to spy their team. Can they make another aggressive 45 across the pool? They were able to do it just before. And in that middle, they were able to hold the possession and get it another couple of metres down the pool. Every time there's one of these frees. Here we go, another aggressive 45. Are they going to find the off half? Oh, no, fed into the stack. There's the numbers. Here we go. Could it be? Could this be the... Oh. There's All numbers are down here. Has it been swept to the side? We can't quite say. Well, it's on the back wall there. The Tasmanian does have it on their stick. So that's exactly where Tasmania want it. They want it to be on their stick. They don't want it bob bobbling. They need their strong body position. They're making quite a quick attack out, which, yes, Queensland were able to capitalize on. They didn't have, Tasmania didn't have the numbers behind that. They've go. got the numbers go. now. Queensland coming through. Again, cleared. All right, last little dish effort. 40 seconds left in the half. Some, a Queenslander just needs to take the puck on their swoop and just, you know, one big breath, I'll drive it in. But Tasmania, if they can just get the stick on their puck cleanly, I think they'll just hold against the wall. If they're um, aware of the game, and they're just going to lock it down and, and wait out the half. And look, time is running out here. 20 seconds left. Tasmania just need to keep the stick on their puck unless uh, the Queenslanders can just muscle up and hassle. Last little dish ever. This could be... Oh, there we go. It's in the corner. I think that's... Oh, he should have stayed down there, really. Leave nothing to chance. But Tasmania... Oh, are we going to get there? Four seconds. Three, two, one. And back in the corner. Oh, unlucky there for the Queensland team. Just just not quite good enough on the day, Barnsley. Look, it was not to take away from a great final. Uh, both teams evenly matched. But I think... Queensland just didn't play their game enough, and I think they really played into the Tasmanian hands by uh, not taking it off the wall. A bit like our, our New South Wales team yesterday, losing the Barbarians uh, semi-finals. The Barbarians just not playing our structure and letting the uh, the bigger, crabbier team. No offense, not scoring Tasmanian crabs, but the Barbarians crabs um, on their wall and just not opening up playing our game. It was a valiant effort by the Queensland. Unfortunately, had that one goal put in early and they weren't able to bring it back. They were just stuck that one goal down. And it's always tricky. You sort of, you can get into that mindset that you've almost forgotten how to score. You can make those aggressive plays. And they did have some very, very strong passages coming through. But Tasmania, as relentless as ever with their defense, they just held it and held it. And they had the bodies. They had enough. They were able to slow it down when they needed to. And particularly in those last three minutes, they... They, oh, they looked in danger. I really thought that we were going to have that one all, but it's it's uh, all Tasmania's game. It's their final today. Benny. Yeah, thanks, Barnes. Look, both teams here just shaking hands. Um, you know, shout out to Kai Wagner. It's his last uh, year of under 19s. Not sure if any of the other Queensland players or um, Tasmania players have finished up under 19s. Only gets harder from here playing in the elite grade, but, you know, if Gary Rose won't have his way, he won't Kai or Heard playing any elite, you know, under 19s games, but, you know, Gary, just got to let him have fun with his, his junior mates, you know, just finish off on a high in his last year of 19s. Um, so, yeah, look, I personally, I don't want to commentate any of the other games because I don't care enough about those divisions. I just care about the juniors. So, you might, if you're tuning in for the rest of the games, might be a bit of less commentary unless someone else steps in, but, um, yeah, coming up, I think, it's all Tasmania. Um, Tasmania, South Australia, or Alcoholics versus South Australia, the Masters. Then in both um, women's final, Tasmania against Vic. And then the elite men, it's uh, Tasmania against the Barbarians. So we'll uh, wrap it up here now, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Feel free to ch ch join into the rest of the streams. Might not be any commentary. Um, but, yeah, thanks, everybody, for your support.